Europa della libertà e della democrazia diretta, la parola all'onorevole Farage. Well, Mr. Orban, not for the first time you sit here as the democratically elected leader of a great nation and you stand up and make a reasoned argument as to how the Hungarians do things and how actually there are different cultures within Europe. And you're prepared again and again to come back here and to be attacked and abused by non-entities who want Hungary to bow to their will and not to the will of the Hungarian people or its leader. And I'm beginning to wonder, at what point, sir, do you, as an intelligent man, stop banging your head up against a wall? You spoke today and you behaved today as the leader of a nation. But isn't it becoming obvious that as a member of the European Union, actually, you are not a nation? Just as we're seeing in France at the moment, with huge interference in the French presidential election, even with the unelected commission now coming out and backing this godlike creature called Macron. No, you're not the leader of a nation. And these people will go on interfering in the lives of Hungarian people. And you'll never be forgiven. You are a sinner in their eyes, not just because you want to close down George Soros's propaganda machine that masquerades as a university. <laughs> Nothing to do with that. It's because you won't pay the price for Mrs. Merkel's supreme folly and sign up to migrant quotas, and they will never, ever forgive you for it. Surely, when you yourself have said in the past, we need to get rid of a utopia called supranational Europe, it must become clear to you, as it became clear to Eurosceptics in the United Kingdom, this set of organisations bound by their treaties are not open to reform. Institutions like this are led by fanatics. They are turning this into a state and the nation state cannot coexist alongside. Now, you were bold enough to call a referendum on the migrant quotas and 88% of those that voted agreed with you. Surely logic says it's time you gave the Hungarian people a referendum on whether they stayed part of the European Union or not. Who knows? You might come and join the Brexit club and then we could fight. And then we could fight for a nation of democratic states working together, trading together, and put this nonsense behind us.